Welcome back to our video on a collection of weird historical facts, Volume 2. Hope you enjoy. Like many ancient royalty, King Tut's parents were related. According to DNA taken from his mummified body, his parents were actually brother and sister. The use of the word hooker as a term for a prostitute originated with Civil War General Joseph Hooker, who brought prostitutes along on campaigns for his men. Former President Ronald Reagan was also a prolific lifeguard who saved 77 people from drowning. Researchers believe that the Guanajuato mummy's terrible expressions are the result of the victims being buried alive. The ancient Egyptians used slabs of stone as pillows. The head was considered to be the seat of spiritual life and had to be cared for. So, when getting into bed, the Egyptians would place their heads on a stone with a curve in it, also engraved with images of the gods and placed under the heads of the dead to ward off evil spirits. A Chernobyl firefighter was exposed to so much radiation it changed his eye color. Vladimir Pravik was an early responder at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant's reactor number no. 4 on April 26, 1986, tasked with battling the flames emerging from the structure. His exposure to a dangerously high level of radiation during this mission altered his eye color from brown to blue. Tragically, like many other initial responders, he succumbed to severe radiation poisoning and passed away just 15 days later. Surgeon Robert Liston, renowned for his surgical speed, performed an amputation so quickly during a battlefield procedure that he accidentally severed his assistant's fingers. Shockingly, an onlooker who felt Liston's knife tug on his coat and saw blood died of a heart attack. Tragically, both the patient and the assistant also died from blood poisoning related to the amputation, resulting in Liston having a surgery with a 300% mortality rate. In medieval England, the word ask was pronounced ax. This pronunciation of the word was even featured in the first English translation of the Bible, ax and it shall be given. Marcus Licinius Crassus was known as the wealthiest man in Rome during his life. When he died, molten gold was poured down his throat. The Parthians did this as a symbol of his thirst for wealth. Singing birthday card has more computer power in it than the entire Allied army of World War II. The computer chip within them was so powerful by comparison that it would be inconceivable to the leaders of that time how we simply throw them away. Fox tossing was once a popular sport. Popular with Europe's aristocracy during the 17th and 18th centuries, fox tossing would involve a person or a couple throwing a fox as far and as high as they could. Adolf Hitler and his Nazi army relied on drugs to fight through World War II. Hitler's Wehrmacht soldiers were given a pill called Pervidin, primarily composed of methamphetamine, to combat fatigue and stay alert in the face of the war's challenges. This drug, initially used for various purposes for housewives, like weight loss, was widely utilized to ward off sleep and cope with the traumas of battle. Elephants, known for their intelligence and trainability, were historically used as executioners and torturers in some parts of Asia until the late 19th century. They were trained to inflict gruesome injuries such as breaking bones, crushing skulls, twisting off limbs, or even executing people with blades attached to their tusks. In 955, Bishop Dunstan attempted to retrieve King Edwig from his coronation to attend a noble meeting, but discovered him in bed with two women, a mother and daughter, inciting his anger. Dunstan forcibly brought Edwig back, but later, recognizing his mistake that he angered the new king, fled England and refused to return until after Edwig's death. In 2005, German scientists found the world's oldest sculpted phallus in southwestern Germany. It is a 20 cm polished siltstone schlong created around 28,000 years ago. The Egyptians believed that even after death, the deceased could continue to have sex. For this reason, men's corpses were given fake penises and women nipples. The diary of Anne Frank was edited by her father because, quite rightfully, he didn't want some of the stuff she wrote published. He edited out writing about her period, discovering herself, learning about boys from a guy that was staying with them, and her father's infatuation with fart jokes. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was an incredible president, and a complicated man. Like many of us, he had a darker side. Roosevelt kept multiple mistresses throughout his life, at one point including his wife's social secretary. 
The FBI ignored compelling evidence of the attack on Pearl Harbor because Hoover didn't trust the Serbian double agent Dusan Papov, who was apparently a gambling, lustful drunk. His nickname was Tricycle because of his love of threesomes. He was one of the inspirations for James Bond. Clark Storps fears a strange three billion year old rocks that have been dug up near Odosdal in South Africa. Up to now, no one has been able to fully explain the markings on their sides. The great Omaha Indian chief Blackbird was said to have loved his horse so much that he was buried sitting on top of it. Winston Churchill, the prominent UK Prime Minister during World War II, typically smoked between 8 and 10 cigars per day. During the Great Depression, people often made clothes out of flour sacks. Distributors would make their sacks more colourful to help people remain at least somewhat fashionable. The Leaning Tower of Pisa was never actually straight to begin with, and the design was flawed from the beginning. The foundation, set weak on an unstable soil, began to sink when they started on the second floor. Former North Korean dictator Kim Jong-il was said to be a great lover of music. He allegedly composed six operas while he was in office. Before there were alarm clocks, there were knockers up, who were hired to shoot dried peas from a blowgun at people's windows in order to wake them up in the morning. Heroin was once a perfectly acceptable medicine. Doctors prescribed it for everything from coughs to headaches. Albert Einstein was offered the presidency of Israel on November 17, 1952, following the death of Israel's first president, Cain Weizmann. He declined, saying he lacked the natural aptitude and the experience to deal properly with people to do the job. Russian dictator Joseph Stalin often had photos retouched to remove people who had died or been removed from office. George Washington had significant dental problems and lost most of his teeth, eventually using dentures made from materials like human slave teeth, donkey teeth and ivory. King Louis XIV of France secretly underwent a surgery to treat an anal fistula, an infected tunnel between the skin and the anus, a condition which was kept hidden from the public but later became a topic of fascination in medical history. Queen Victoria of England is rumoured to have used marijuana for medicinal purposes to alleviate menstrual pain. King Henry VIII of England hired four men who regularly checked his feces, monitored his bowel movements, and wiped his bottom. They were appropriately called grooms of the king's stool and all of them were eventually knighted. The love between the British and their tea knows no bounds and has gone as far as including all British tanks since 1945 being equipped with tea-making equipment and facilities. Between 1900 and 1920, tug of war was a legitimate event at the Summer Olympics, with Sweden taking the most gold medals in the event over the 20-year span with five gold medals. In 1889, French president, Felix Fire died of a seizure at a critical juncture while engaged in sexual activities in his office with his 30-year-old mistress. It has been widely reported that Felix Fire had his fatal seizure while his mistress was fellating him. Vibrators were invented for doctors who were getting carpal tunnel from using their fingers to give female patients orgasms in order to treat hysteria. Catherine the Great of Russia believed that her well-being and ability to govern were tied to having a virile young man share a bed, asserting that she couldn't rule effectively sleeping alone. To find suitable candidates, her ladies-in-waiting would assess eligible young noblemen before they were allowed into the Empress' bedroom. Stories about witches riding broomsticks comes from the Europe in the Middle Ages, when some women consumed hallucinogens by applying them to a broomstick and then delivering the drug via mucous membrane in the vagina. A cubic wig or merkin was created in the 1450s to be used by prostitutes because they had to shave their pubic region to combat pubic lice and to hide signs of syphilis. Roman Emperor Elagabalus was a cross-dresser. Tales circulated that he spent his evenings pretending to be a female prostitute and that he wanted to have a vagina surgically implanted into his body. Medieval monks commonly wrote homoerotic poetry that they would pass around while copying texts. Mozart, the great composer, did not only write serious pieces like Lacrimosa, he also wrote a masterpiece called Lick Mich I Marsh, with the English translation being Lick Me in the Butt. Boston Corbett, the Union Army soldier who killed John Wilkes Booth, castrated himself with a pair of scissors in order to avoid sexual temptation and remain holy. He then ate a meal and went to a prayer meeting before he sought medical treatment. In medieval Europe, clothing held immense significance among the elite as a means of showcasing their wealth and social status. 
Unconventional fashion trends emerged, including remarkably long, pointed shoes for men. The length of these shoes directly correlated with the wearer's affluence and social standing, with some even requiring whalebone reinforcement. In the late 14th century, men embraced daringly revealing attire, featuring short tunics and tights to flaunt their bodies. This trend was succeeded by the codpiece, a pouch attached to men's trousers designed to accentuate their masculinity. During the 19th century, a popular medicine for children known as Mrs. Winslow's Soothing Syrup, which promised to allay all pains, was heavily laced with morphine. In ancient Rome, families were dominated by men. In fact, fathers had the legal right to sell, disown, or even kill his family members. One of the most feared, successful, and respected pirates in all of history was actually a Chinese prostitute named Ching Shi. She commanded a fleet of more than 1,500 ship and 80,000 sailors. Viking women could divorce their husbands. Viking women enjoyed more rights than many of their European counterparts at the time. They had the legal right to request a divorce if their husband failed to provide for them or was abusive. This was scandalous in the context of medieval Europe. Vikings also practiced human sacrifice. While Viking culture is often romanticized, it had its dark side. Most Vikings engaged in human sacrifices during religious ceremonies. They believed these sacrifices were necessary to appease their gods in exchange for luck, favor, or prosperity. In medieval times, both humans and animals faced the harshness of the law. Around 85 documented animal trials occurred during this era, as recounted in The Criminal Prosecution and Capital Punishment of Animals by E. P. Evans. Pigs were often the culprits, charged with gruesome offenses like biting and even devouring children. They typically received death sentences, sometimes with theatrical executions, like a pig dressed in human attire. However, other animals faced peculiar accusations, such as a rooster charged with laying an egg in 1474, rats getting eviction notices, and even a dolphin trial in Marseilles in 1596. Remarkably, not all trials ended brutally. One donkey accused of harassment was declared innocent due to a convent's prior vouching for her virtuous behavior. Cleopatra was known as Mirio Cain by the Greeks, a term that literally translates to she who gapes wide for 10,000 men. According to legend, she fellated 100 men in a single night. She supposedly used her affinity for this act to seduce Julius Caesar. Napoleon Bonaparte once wrote a letter to his wife Josephine while he was away on military campaigns. In this infamous letter, Napoleon begged her not to bathe, for he wanted to enjoy her body odor to the fullest. Sultans had dozens of wives, only four of which were legitimate according to Muslim law, and hundreds of concubines. Blonde women from the Caucasus were highly prized for their beauty, and the Sultan often traded many good horses to get his hands on one. In 2013, Trump was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame for his contributions to the professional wrestling industry. He had made several appearances on WWE shows over the years and even participated in a Battle of the Billionaires match at WrestleMania 23 in 2007. Trump does not drink alcohol. Due to his late brother's battle with alcoholism, Trump said in an interview that he does not drink alcohol. Instead, he prefers Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi. Trump once owned a professional football team. In 1984, Trump bought the New Jersey Generals, a professional football team in the United States Football League. However, the league ultimately folded and Trump's investment in the team did not pay off. Michigan Dr. John Harvey Kellogg invented Kellogg's Corn Flakes in an effort to curb masturbation. He believed that the more flavorful a food, the more likely you'd be to be aroused. In response, he created a super bland cereal. We may think of the love seat as a small couch today, but for King Edward VII of England, the love seat was a special chair he had at his favorite French brothel that allowed for comfortable relations with two women. US President Thomas Jefferson had six children with his wife's female slave, Sally Hemings. Sally was the product of an affair Jefferson's father-in-law had with one of his slaves. In other words, Sally was his wife's half-sister. Mithridates VI was so paranoid of being poisoned that he took small doses throughout his life to build up an immunity. When he was finally captured by the Romans, he tried to kill himself with poison, but failed because he was immune. The Wright brothers only flew together. Once after gaining their father's permission, 
They had always promised they wouldn't fly together to avoid a double tragedy if there was an accident. The USSR had a televised song contest. Since few people had phones, viewers would turn their house lights on if they liked a certain song and off if they didn't. The state energy company recorded the size of each power spike and reported the results to the station to determine points for each contestant. Universally acknowledged as the father of microbiology, Antony van Leeuwenhoek discovered sperm by putting his own ejaculation under a microscope. He did this right after copulating with his wife because masturbation was considered a sin at that time. In the early Roman Empire, prostitutes were required to wear yellow wigs, marking their profession and deviating from the modesty expected of Roman women. Cleopatra made herself a vibrator using bees. She made herself a vibrating device by putting angry bees in a hollow gourd. She then first shakes the gourd and placed it on her genital, while the bees inside buzzed, creating a vibrating sensation. She used this for her self-pleasure. If you're a woman in North Korea, one of the most sought-after gigs you can get is being a traffic cop. According to sources, it is reported that the women in these roles are often hand-picked for the job, with tall and attractive being major factors in successfully scoring the gig. One of the most shocking abuses of human rights in North Korea is the country's three-generation punishment rule. If an individual is found guilty of a crime and sent to a prison camp, three generations of their family are sent there too, including their parents and grandparents, and they must remain there for life. Trump was a millionaire by age eight. According to his father's tax returns, Donald Trump was already a millionaire by the time he was eight years old. He inherited much of his wealth from his father, who was a successful real estate developer. Trump's catchphrase, you're fired, was actually a branding strategy. Trump's catchphrase on his reality television show, The Apprentice, was you're fired. This catchphrase was actually a branding strategy meant to sell merchandise with the phrase printed on it. Trump is a germaphobe. According to several sources, including former White House aides, Trump is a germaphobe who is very particular about cleanliness. He reportedly hates shaking hands and avoids touching doorknobs and elevator buttons. Fidel Castro, the Cuban revolutionary leader, is said to have survived an astonishing 600 assassination attempts during his time in power. These attempts ranged from poison cigars to exploding seashells and demonstrated the intense international efforts to eliminate him. Benjamin Franklin, one of the founding fathers of the United States, believed in the benefits of fresh air and would take air baths by sitting naked in his house with the windows wide open. Pablo Picasso once paid for a meal in a restaurant with a simple napkin sketch. The restaurant owner accepted the sketch as payment, unknowingly receiving a piece of art worth far more than the meal. On Lewis and Clark's expedition exploring the Louisiana Purchase and the Pacific Northwest, they ate their dogs. This egregious act was not out of necessity or extreme hunger, they simply grew tired of eating fish. One of their dogs was also called semen. Margaret Pohl, Countess of Salisbury, was executed because it was found that she was a traitor. She was sentenced to have her head chopped off. However, rather than a swift end, it took 11 blows with an axe before her head was fully removed. Gerald Ford, birth name Leslie Lynch King Jr., was a model for Cosmopolitan, appearing in a cover illustration he posed for in 1942. He also met his wife through modeling. In 1872, sitting President Ulysses Grant was pulled over and fined $20 for exceeding the Washington speed limit on a horse. George Washington, the first US president and revolutionary war hero, was an enthusiastic dog breeder, particularly of hunting hounds, to which he gave names like Sweet Lips and Drunkard. President Bill Clinton was known for his love of fast food, especially hamburgers and french fries. He often stopped by fast food joints during his presidency to indulge in a quickie. President Gerald Ford was known for his occasional clumsiness. He famously stumbled and fell down the steps of Air Force One multiple times, leading to jokes about his athleticism. Zachary Taylor believed in the healing power of raw onions so much that he considered renaming the White House to Onionville. Luckily, the proposal was chopped. John Quincy Adams was known for his daily ritual of skinny dipping in the Potomac River during his presidency. He believed that cold water immersion was invigorating. 
Andrew Jackson, before becoming president, was involved in multiple duels. He even carried bullets lodged near his heart from dueling wounds for most of his life. Calvin Coolidge had a menagerie of pets at the White House, including raccoons, a bobcat, a wallaby, and a pygmy hippopotamus named Billy. Richard Nixon was an accomplished pianist who performed classical music on the piano. He once played for Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev during a diplomatic visit. In 1978, Bulgarian dissident Georgo Markov was assassinated in London using a modified umbrella that injected a small pellet containing a deadly toxin into his leg. During the 16th and 17th centuries, human body parts were believed to have medicinal properties. People would consume things like mummies, powdered skulls, and even human blood to cure ailments. In 2011, thieves in the Czech Republic managed to steal an entire 10-ton steel bridge, dismantling it and selling it as scrap metal before authorities realized what had happened. Byzantine Emperor Justinian I fell victim to an assassination attempt by a team of trained gladiator assassins who were thwarted by the Emperor's unexpected fighting skills. Louis XIX of France holds the record for the shortest reign of any monarch in history. He ruled for just 20 minutes in 1830 before abdicating in favour of his nephew. During the negotiations to end the Hundred Years' War in 1360, the French reportedly used a dung cart to carry the English delegation's reply, symbolising their disdain for the English offer. Queen Caroline Matilda of Denmark had a unique punishment for gossipers. She would have them placed in a ducking stool and submerged in water as a form of humiliation. Ivan IV of Russia, also known as Ivan the Terrible, was known to have a fascination with cannons. He even once had a cannon fired at his own son, leading to his son's death. In the 19th century, the use of mercury in the hat-making process led to health issues for hat-makers. The resulting neurological symptoms coined the phrase mad as a hatter. Pope Alexander VI was notorious for his lavish and extravagant lifestyle. He once hosted a banquet in which the plates and utensils were made of solid gold. Ottoman Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent had a distinctive signature. Instead of using a regular signature, he would write verses of poetry in the shape of an elephant. Augustus the Strong, King of Poland and Elector of Saxony, was known for his physical strength. He once challenged a group of soldiers to a contest of strength and lifted a horse onto his shoulders. In 1945, a farmer in Colorado beheaded a chicken named Mike, but instead of dying, Mike lived for 18 months without a head due to a missed jugular vein. He even went on tour as Miracle Mike. In 2014, in Taiwan, a decomposing sperm whale carcass exploded while being transported, showering a street in blood and entrails. In 1814, a vat of beer at the Mew and Company Brewery in London burst, releasing a tidal wave of beer that flooded the streets and buildings, resulting in the deaths of at least eight people. During World War II, the British considered using hedgehogs as a low-tech defense against tanks. They planned to scatter them on beaches to damage tank treads, but the idea was abandoned. In ancient times, toothaches were attributed to the presence of toothworms tiny creatures thought to burrow into teeth. This belief persisted for centuries until more accurate dental knowledge emerged. A disagreement between Greece and Bulgaria over the treatment of a stray dog on their border in 1925 escalated into a 10-day military conflict known as the War of the Stray Dog. In 1960, Air Force Captain Joseph Kittinger jumped from a helium balloon at the edge of space at an altitude of 102,800 feet. This remains one of the highest and fastest skydives ever recorded. In 1901, a Greek sponge diver discovered a corroded ancient device off the coast of Antikythera. It turned out to be an ancient analog computer, known as the Antikythera mechanism, capable of predicting astronomical positions. The assassination attempt on Archduke Franz Ferdinand in Sarajevo in 1914 failed when a grenade thrown at his motorcade bounced off the folded down convertible top and into the street. In 1896, Walter Arnold was issued the world's first recorded speeding ticket in Britain. He was travelling at the breakneck speed of 8 miles per hour in a 2 miles per hour zone. In 1952, a combination of cold weather and air pollution created a toxic smog in London, resulting in an estimated 4,000 deaths in just a few days. This event led to stricter air quality regulations. 
During the Vietnam War, the United States used rats with small incendiary devices strapped to their backs in an attempt to destroy tunnels used by the Viet Cong. The Ivanov experiments, conducted in the early 20th century by biologist Ilya Ivanov, involved controversial attempts to create hybrids between humans and primates. These experiments faced ethical and scientific challenges, resulting in limited success and skepticism within the scientific community. In 1386, a pig was executed in France. The pig attacked a child who went to die later from their wounds. The pig was arrested, kept in prison, and then sent to court, where it stood trial for murder, was found guilty, and then executed by hanging. The tallest married couple ever recorded was Anna Haining Swan, who was 7'11", and Martin Van Buren Bates, who was 7'9". When she gave birth, Swan's baby was 22 pounds. Alexander the Great was accidentally buried alive. Scientists believe Alexander suffered from a neurological disorder called Guillain-Barre syndrome. They believe that when he died, he was actually just paralyzed and mentally aware. After his term, George Washington opened a whiskey distillery. By 1799, Washington's distillery was the largest in the country, producing 11,000 gallons of an aged whiskey. King Henry VIII of England had servants who were called grooms of stool, whose job was to wipe his bottom after he went to the bathroom. During his reign, he had all of those four such people knighted. In 2009, Donald Trump tried to sue an author for $5 million because he called him a millionaire instead of a billionaire. Abraham Lincoln gave a speech at Majors Hall in Bloomington, Illinois, that was so mesmerizing that it can't be found anywhere. There is no transcript of the speech in existence and the content could only be guessed at. The speech is known as Lincoln's Lost Speech. Catherine I of Russia implemented a rule that men could not become drunk at her parties before 9 o'clock in the evening. This regulation highlighted her efforts to establish a refined and orderly atmosphere within the royal court. After sailors had crossed the Atlantic Ocean to the West Indies, they would take women on board the ship and have relations with them between the cannons. The boy children of these women were said to be sons between the guns. The saying was shortened to son of a gun. The last German emperor, Kaiser Wilhelm II, had a teenage crush on his mum and even wrote her letters detailing the sexual dreams he had about her. Author Victor Hugo was so popular with the local sex workers, when he died, every brothel in Paris closed down for a day of mourning. King Alfonso XII of Spain had a unique bond with his wife's embalmed body after her death, even arranging for a secret passage so he could visit her nightly. President Franklin Roosevelt's wheelchair was cleverly concealed in photographs and public appearances, creating an image of him standing or supported by aides. Pope John XII was notorious for his debauched lifestyle, hosting wild parties with prostitutes and turning the Lateran Palace into a brothel. George Washington, the first president of the United States, had a lifelong fear of being buried alive, so he requested that his body not be buried until three days after his death. Empress Wu Zixian of China's court had a regiment of male concubines who were required to wear female attire and serve her intimately. King Louis XIV of France had a peculiar fear of baths and only took a few in his lifetime, leading to his preferred method of staying clean, using perfume and changing clothes frequently. King Charles had a plethora of royal mistresses, including actress Nell Gwynne, who gave one of her rivals a laxative-laced cake to sabotage her relationship with the king. King Tut, the young pharaoh of ancient Egypt, was laid to rest in a remarkably preserved state of mummification. Interestingly, his body was positioned with an erection, symbolizing his eternal vitality and regenerative power in the afterlife, according to ancient Egyptian beliefs. The Boja family, infamous for corruption during the Renaissance, engaged in immoral acts. Pope Alexander VI, a family member, hosted sexual parties in the Vatican and fathered many illegitimate children, staining the Catholic Church's image. King George IV of England was so overweight that he required a special set of stairs to be built at his palace so he could fit through the entrance. Catherine the Great of Russia is rumored to have died while attempting to have sexual relations with a horse, though historical evidence for this is dubious. President James Garfield could write with both hands simultaneously in different languages, one hand writing in Greek, the other in Latin. 
Queen Isabella I of Castile, one of the driving forces behind Christopher Columbus expeditions, believed that she was able to smell if someone was a secret Jew or Muslim. Charles II was said to have watched the entire consummation of his nephew, William of Orange with his bride, Queen Mary II on their wedding night, while shouting encouragement from the sidelines. When the Russian Bolsheviks overthrew the provisional government and stormed the Winter Palace in 1917, their revolution was halted for a few days. The reason was because the Bolsheviks got ridiculously drunk in the Winter Palace after finding the wine stores. The Romans had an effective natural contraceptive. It was a plant called Silphium, and the shape of the seed is where we get the traditional heart shape we all recognize as a symbol of love. They ended up using it so much that it went extinct. President Martin Van Buren of the United States had a pair of tiger cubs sent to the White House as a diplomatic gift, sparking a trend of exotic animal gifts to U.S. leaders. President Abraham Lincoln of the United States was a skilled wrestler, having only lost one out of nearly 300 matches, earning him the nickname the Rail Splitter. Queen Mary I of England, also known as Bloody Mary, had a morbid fascination with collecting the hair of executed prisoners as a form of macabre keepsakes. Emperor Nero of Rome reportedly enjoyed dressing as a commoner and wandering the streets at night, engaging in activities like burglary and assaulting unsuspecting passersby. King Farouk of Egypt had a collection of over 2,000 watches and frequently gifted expensive timepieces to his friends and acquaintances. Emperor Maximilian I of Mexico, under the influence of his wife Carlota, attempted to establish a European-style monarchy in Mexico, a venture that ended tragically with his execution. President Andrew Jackson of the United States had a parrot named Pole who learned to swear like a sailor and disrupted Jackson's funeral with its profanities. Empress Elizabeth of Austria was known for her unusual beauty regimen, which included applying calf meat to her skin to maintain a youthful complexion. King Faisal of Saudi Arabia used to personally answer public phone calls and visit hospitals in disguise to understand his people's concerns. King Christian VII of Denmark, known for his mental instability, often wandered the streets of Copenhagen at night, interacting with commoners and even working as a street sweeper. In 1618, two Catholic officials were thrown out of a window in Prague Castle, sparking the Thirty Years' War. Both officials survived the fall, allegedly due to a pile of manure breaking their fall. In World War II, the British attempted to deceive the Germans by spreading false information that their pilots had superior night vision because they had a lot of carrots. This was to cover up the fact that they had developed radar technology. In 1501, Pope Alexander VI hosted a lavish party where 50 prostitutes competed to see who could have the most sex in a single evening. The Vatican's reputation suffered another blow with this scandalous event. King Frederick William I of Prussia had an obsession with tall soldiers and created a regiment known as the Potsdam Giants, recruiting only exceptionally tall men, some exceeding seven feet in height. Pope Stephen VI exhumed the corpse of his predecessor, Pope Formosus, put it on trial, found it guilty, and had the body mutilated and thrown into the Tiber River. Emperor Jiazhu of the Han Dynasty in China was known for his unorthodox bathing habits, often inviting commoners to join him in communal baths and discussing state affairs while naked. King Christian VII of Denmark had a physician who would accompany him on his travels, and the doctor's main duty was to dispense large doses of medicine, which were mostly alcohol, to the king. Emperor Pedro I of Brazil declared his five-year-old son, Pedro II, as his heir just days before his own abdication, making the young boy the emperor while still in his early childhood. King George III of England had bouts of madness which led him to converse with trees and argue with statues, earning him the nickname Mad King George. Caliph A. I. Walid II of the Umayyad Caliphate had a passion for training bears to perform military drills and was known to lead his bear cavalry into battle.